Hey what's up guys this is Shukesh once again and well today I have for you another speed test there I have the Motorola Moto G4 Plus which is priced at 13,500 or 15,000 rupees and I also got the all new Redmi Note 3 or Redmi Note 3 Pro and this is priced at 10,000 or 12,000 rupees. Well big thanks to my friends over banggood.com for sending me this device. Banggood.com is an amazing site for latest smartphones at really good price and check the description below for the direct link of this Redmi Note 3 Pro on Banggood.com. Now as I just mentioned the price of Moto G4 Plus is around 25 to 30% higher than that the Redmi Note 3 here and interestingly the benchmark scores are not even close the lower priced Redmi Note 3 Pro scores around 45% more what you are getting on the Lenovo or Motorola device here and thanks to the super powerful Snapdragon 650 processor on the Redmi device you are getting a much more powerful device at this price point. The 3 d Mark Gamers benchmark score is almost double on the Redmi device and overall we can conclude here the Xiaomi Redmi Note 3 Pro here is supposed to perform much better than this Lenovo Moto G4 Plus here. The question is does that really matter on the interface? I mean you are getting a custom MIUI on the Redmi Note 3 here and apart from hardcore gaming does this latest Moto G4 Plus fall short of the Redmi device here in the speed test? Let's find out. First I will do the boot test and then I will check some system and third party applications, some hardcore games and also check the RAM management. Well the Note 3 Pro is already off but I should mention here the shutdown process is already going on in the device just like iOS so I cannot actually conclude here. Let's power on and check the actual boot time. Okay, the Redmi Note 3 is already on and the Motorola device is booting, so definitely the Xiaomi device is the winner. Now both devices here sport fingerprint sensors and on the Moto device it's on the front, whereas you have this on the back of the Redmi device here, both have their pros and cons actually. For example, on the Motorola device you can unlock the device when it's resting on the table and unfortunately this doesn't work as the home button. Let's quickly do a speed test and definitely the Motorola device is the faster one. The Redmi is not far behind, let's check again. Yes, the Motorola device is the winner. I want to recheck by switching hands and make sure there isn't any human error. Well, once again the result is the same. Ok, now I will check some system apps before I try some games. So let's get started with this dialer here and well the Redmi is too fast I think. There isn't any animation, any confusion on the Xiaomi phone and uh, let's try few more apps before I conclude. There I have the messaging application. Once again the Redmi Note 3 is much quicker. To make sure I will redo this test. Let's start with the dialer once again. Definitely the Redmi Note 3 is the clear winner. Again the result is the same so it's really great to see a lower priced device performing better than a higher priced one and on the photos or gallery application as well the Xiaomi device puts the Lenovo one to shame though I should not actually blame the Motorola device here because Google applications always start with the boring logo and they should actually take care of this. There I have the Google Play Store and let's see what happens this time. Ultimately the G4 Plus is good at something. Let's quickly check the camera here. As usual the G4 Plus is the loser. Now let's check YouTube. The Moto G4 Plus is considerably faster on network apps. Let's try the video here which is basically a G4 versus G4 Plus speed test. Well both started at the same time I think so it's just a draw and let's try another one the camera comparison and Ok the Redmi device is once again the winner though there might be something wrong with the G4 Plus so I should actually give it another try. There you have the G4 Plus full review. As you can see Redmi has stopped playing and 
here both started at the same time once again let's check another video there is the unboxing I think the Redmi device started slightly quicker so in this test also the Xiaomi device beats the Lenovo one now it's time for the browser check and let's open our site gadgets portal dot in it's already open so let's reload as you can see from the top bar the site is loading and the Note 3 is done the Moto G4 is still working on it I should give this another try it's loading much faster on the Redmi device and uh, I think it's almost done yes I've actually tried this a couple of times and every time the Redmi is the winner the browsing experience is slightly smoother on the G4 plus though now I will try some games and let's start with the subway surfers As usual the Redmi Note 3 is much much quicker and the G4 Plus is still loading. It's ultimately ready. So beyond doubt the Xiaomi device is the winner. I will try few more games here I have the Temple Run 2. The Note 3 is ahead of the G4 and it's ready. So overall we can conclude the Xiaomi Redmi Note 3 Pro beats the Motorola Moto G4 Plus black and blue though it's priced much less. I have few more games here. Let's check the Modern Combat 5. Well this time the Motorola device is ahead of the Xiaomi one and what I've seen that for big games like this Moto G4 Plus loads games faster. Though the gaming performance is obviously better on the Redmi Note 3 Pro. The game is already playing on the Motorola and Redmi is really struggling here. I feel that the RAM management of the Redmi Note 3 Pro is not that good. I will talk about that later. The game is ultimately on and I have also another game the Nova 3 which is also a very very RAM demanding game. Once again the Moto G4 Plus loaded the game quicker. So for high graphics big games I think the G4 Plus is the winner. Now I should actually confess the Redmi Note 3 I have here is the 2 gig variant that is the base model with 10,000 rupees price tag but I have done a similar speed test in between this Redmi Note 3 and the Moto G4 and that also the Redmi Note 3 actually took some time for high graphics games and check the description below for that speed test. To give you a clear idea about the RAM management, I will open this applications and uh, as you can see the gallery application is already on the memory of G4 Plus whereas the Redmi actually reloaded. Next I want to check the Play Store. Once again the Moto G4 Plus is ready and Redmi Note 3 is loading again. There I have the YouTube apps and once again it's not on the RAM of the Redmi Note 3. Next I want to check the games. The Temple Run 2 is already playing on the Moto G4 Plus and looks like the Redmi Note 3 suspends almost all the apps to save battery and also for the heat management. There I have the Nova 3 and interestingly the 3 gig RAM of the G Plus 4th generation can handle the Nova 3 as well. So this is totally amazing I will say. Let's try the other game that is the MC5. There it is. Well though the game is already on on the G4 Plus it's trying to reconnect to the server and as usual the Redmi Note 3 is starting from the beginning. So overall on the RAM management this Redmi device is not even close. Almost all the apps needs to reload and the multitasking capability of the Moto G4 Plus is unmatched. In fact the original Moto G 4th generation beats this Redmi Note 3 Pro on the RAM management. Check the description below for the link. But other than the RAM management on the speed test both Moto G4 and G4 Plus cannot even compete with this mighty Redmi Note 3 Pro. So overall for the price this Xiaomi device seems value for money and 
apart from speed the camera also matters so i have done a camera comparison as well so before getting these devices check that out as well once again thanks a lot to banggood.com for the redmi note 3 pro check the description below for the link thanks a lot for watching guys this is shukesh and if you have found this video quite interesting and helpful make sure you subscribe and keep in touch well that's all for now thanks again for watching see you on the next review have a nice day guys